ladies and gentlemen, my name is Anish Patel. I'm the CEO of Global Pay Inc. And on behalf of everyone, I would like to be the first to welcome you and listen to the latest and greatest technology advancement in the sporting, are sporting arenas and event arenas. Today you will be hearing from Melissa Dunnington, Jennifer Sims, Aaron Bates, Fee Lee, and Barbara Yu. Global Pay Inc. Inc.'s goal is to provide our clients with innovative technology that enables efficient and secure product purchases. Brazil has won the, won the bid to host the 2014 World Cup and the 2016 Olympic Games. Due to that, $85.6 billion has been invested into the city to revamp the city and build new structures, um, stadiums, businesses, and technology advancement. In 2006, Germany hosted the World Cup. 3.36 million people attended. An issue of security, theft, seem to be a problem. Our solution to that is the Easy Pay Bracelet. The Easy Pay Bracelet is attached to, with an RFID tag. The RFID tag allows purchasers to get what they want, scan their bracelet. That information scans to a computer software, the transponder, and from there the transponder takes that information to the credit card company and debits the charges. So, which eliminates the cash that for transactions. Next to talk about the trade agreements um, is Melissa Dennington. Thank you, Anisha. The United States uh, does not have an actual trade agreement with Brazil. However, uh, the United States is Brazil's largest single trading partner. They're able to accomplish this through their general system of preference, their GSP, which essentially gives the United States preferential treatment when it comes to tariffs and taxes. Uh, tariffs are actually pretty high in Brazil. They're ranked 100 out of 183 economically viable uh, countries. Uh, to put this into perspective, that means that uh, the tariffs in Brazil are twice as expensive as they are in China and Japan. The import process is also pretty lengthy uh, in Brazil. It takes approximately 16 days and requires seven documents to be filed to receive any imports into the country. Uh, the Custo Brasila, which is the extra cost of doing business, as the, as the Brazilians refer to it, um, is due to government inefficiency, legal and bureaucratic complications, and excessive taxation. To mitigate these issues, um, we are proposing to um, open up an office in Brazil. Um, we're going to establish a business in the country. We're also going to hire Brazilian legal and accounting advisors. This will help us cut through any red tape and navigate through the government system more efficiently. We're going to be discussing our country's operational structure. We will be partnering with Smart Manufacturer. We will be the distribution site. Our headquarters will be located in Fairfax. That will include our CEO, our CFO, and our country liaison. We'll have a location based in Brazil, and that will include our vice president, our marketing director. Um, we will also hire local um, accountants and lawyers, which will be directly talking to our clients, the event arenas. Any problems or issues that arise will be directly going back to a smart manufacturer. Here um, to talk about our cultural and marketing is Aaron Bates and Fee Lee. The Brazilian office is an essential way of how we will communicate to the Brazilian clients, such as the arena owners and our customers. We will directly talk to the customers through um, our Brazil location. Um, employees there will need to know how to conduct business properly with the Brazilians. So representatives will need to know, will need to know and understand Portuguese since it is the main language. Building a strong relationship before talking about any business with Brazilians is a key point. Always set up meetings and never come unexpected. Shaking hands with strong eye contact is always important. 
When women want to shake a man's hand, they have to extend their hand out first. Women greet each other by kissing the left cheek and then the right cheek of the face. Face-to-face uh, -face meetings are always preferred. Um, small talk before conducting any business. Um, it's always good to be on time for your meetings. Interruption is okay in Brazil, so be aware of that. Criticizing is considered really rude, so avoid any criticism. Um, never do the okay signal in Brazil because it's highly rude. Um, we will research our customers and our Brazilian arena clients um, to meet with our investors and set up a meeting to pitch our ideas and advantages of our product. And now here is Feely with our marketing. Thank you. As you can see, revenues for sporting events in Brazil top nearly $250 million a year. And with the upcoming 2014 World Cup, those revenues are expected to double with the potential at $520 million. As we see renovations and facility upgrades, now is the perfect time to implement and introduce the Easy Pay bracelets as we are offered more opportunities for income. The success of the Easy Pay bracelet is fundamentally found in the Dun and Bradstreet study, which finds that people spend nearly 20% more when using credit or credit card uh, devices as opposed to cash for their goods. As research finds, MasterCard uses a PayPass, which is a similar device that you attach to your keychain. It's quick and easy, and it's an alternative to using cash or even credit cards. The research finds that cardholders of the PayPass increase their overall usage by 23% per account. The convenience found by customers is also then passed on to the vendors who see increased transaction frequency per account rise by 27%, meaning more transactions are processed per hour. Another added benefit of using the Easy Pay bait, um, bracelet is the security issue. As we see here in Rio de Janeiro, crime continues to plague the major tourist areas and areas. And in 2009, petty theft and robbery on tourists increased by 9%. With the Global Pay bracelet, we hope to uh, establish a safety protocol for uh, use as payment, so tourists and foreigners can travel Brazil without necessarily worrying about carrying the purses and the wallets, and hopefully that in itself will reduce crime rate. And now to introduce uh, Jennifer Sims, our uh, numbers analyst. Thank you, Fee. With the initial investment of $1.7 million, we hope to retain 560000 in our first year with expenses totaling $1.1 million. Our initial sales will begin in 2013, selling the vans for $1.70 per unit, with a cost of $0.58 cents per unit to us. The transponders will be sold for $135 to the arenas, with a cost of $59.50 to us. This totals $4.4 million in revenue in 2013. With expenses totaling $1.3 million, and our net income after tax expense will be $2.3 million. We expect to see steady growth through 2014 with net income of $2.7 million. In 2015, we project a small dip due to the downtime between the World Cup and the Olympics. This will total $4.4 million in revenue, $1.7 million in expenses, and $2 million in net income. In 2016, we expect to see our highest numbers with $8.7 million in revenue, totaling sales for the Olympics and other regular season games. Expenses will total $1.7 million, with a final net income of $5.2 million. As you can see, we have our five-year projection. We have revenue in blue, expenses in red, and net income in green. As previously mentioned, we can see a slow increase through 2012, 13, and 14. 2015, we see the slight dip that we had previously mentioned, with 2016 rounding up our highest net income. Now, for closing, I would like to reintroduce Anisha Patel and Barbara Yu. Hi. Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to say, bottom line, the Easy Pay bracelet is for pure convenience. It speeds up transaction time, which, don't we all want more time? Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you again. I would like to say if there are any further questions, they can be directed to easypay at globalpayinc.com. Thank you again.